the individual decides its continuity in the living world the individual can decides its continuity in the living world and that process will refer as the reproduction so we can write here that process that process of reproduction that process of living organism in which continuity of life is decided continuity of life is decided in this process we can say that any living organism can decide its continuity that its life or its living organism its generation is going to increase or not first of all if we talk about the reproduction cycle every organisms have a limited life span every organisms have a limited life span as we had studied in the previous chapter that is in the life processes that life process in life process we had studied that life span what is life span basically life span is the term in which the organism natural birth to death natural birth to natural death and this is the basically the process formed life span so we can write here that this is this is basically this is basically from birth to natural death from birth to natural death now the word comes here that natural death what does this natural death word mean if we talk about this then this can be determined as that death that is caused by naturally we cannot con uh, include this we cannot include these things in the uh, accidental manner or else so this is uh, the uh, word that life span is that a uh, life span stands for so if you have any doubts you can ask till here that uh, the process reproduction and the life span that we basically talked about and i think you would be watching with my videos so if you have any doubts regarding my sessions you can ask you can ask on the topic that we had studied in the previous sessions that how do organisms reproduce on the different topics if you have any doubt you can ask no one so if we uh, talk about the life span everyone uh, as i can see here that uh, sahil is uh, there am i visible to you sahil yes sir so uh, any uh, doubts regarding this topic no sir so as life span we talked that this is basically the birth to natural death so every organisms like we can get some examples regarding this that uh, the parrot uh in uh, parrot the life span is 140 years and basically in humans nowadays the life span is 60 years it was before 80 70 to 80 years so we can uh, conclude here that parrot parrot has 140 years and that for humans humans it is approximately 60 years so this is uh, all about the life span so if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask so now if we move further in this topic we can get that the reproduction process is basically 
reproduction process is basically of two types this reproduction process is basically of two types two types two types can you say sail what are the two types of uh, reproduction sexual and asexual yes that is first is sexual or we can write here asexual reproduction and the other is sexual reproduction sexual reproduction so what is asexual reproduction and what is sexual reproduction how can we de determine the term asexual reproduction and how can we determine the term sexual reproduction how they are different from each other can you answer it yes can you answer it sail so i think he is not audible to me uh, now asexual reproduction is that process in which in which no fertilization occur in which no fertilization of gametes occur as we can say generally uh, in human beings that ovum and the sperm fuses with each other by the process of fertilization so in this asexual mode of reproduction that process fertilization doesn't occur and only a single parent can give rise to a progeny or offspring but in the sexual mode of reproduction here two parents are involved and that will be of opposite sex two parents are involved and that will be of opposite sex and that sperm and ovum will be also taking place uh, that fertilization will be occurred and fusion of gamete of a uh, fusion of gamete will take place and this all the process taking taking place under the sexual mode of reproduction and in the asexual mode of reproduction this fertilization doesn't occur and a single parent gives rise to their progeny by divide by division here many uh, methods uh, that are involved we will be talking further in this so we can write that asexual basically in this process in this mode of reproduction in this mode of reproduction only single parent only single parent is involved and also fertilization of gametes doesn't occur so in the asexual mode of reproduction this is basically the mode of reproduction in which only single parent is involved and also fertilization of gamete doesn't occur and the organism and the organism that will formed in the asexual mode of reproduction that organism will be the exact copy of the parental body that organism will be the exact copy of the parental body that we can say here that it will be the copy or we can say xerox or we can use the word that is generally being used in the biological term that is clone body that is clone body so if we will be asked that the body or the organism formed during the asexual mode of reproduction will be termed as the clone body our answer will be the clone body we can be asked we can be asked the question what does the term mean clone body what does the term mean clone body anyone anyone could answer sail what does the term clone body mean how can we determine it
Am I audible? Yes, sir. How can we determine the clone body? The new organism which is um, which is produced in asexual reproduction is called clones. Yes, we can say that uh, any organism that is produced during the asexual mode of reproduction is the clone or clone body. That is not the uh, right thing that uh, we can uh, determine during the uh, clone body definition. We can write here that that organism which is formed during the asexual mode of reproduction and that is genetically and morphologically similar. That is by inside and by outside as similar as the parental body. As similar as the parental body and that organism will be said as the clone body. So, we can write in this that the organism formed during asexual mode is genetically and morphologically genetically and morphologically similar if the organism is genetically and morphologically similar to the parental body and that organism or that body will be referred as the clone body so in Asexual mode of reproduction, the generally the organism that will be formed will be the clone of each other, will be the clone of each other. Now, the term sexual reproduction, what does it mean? Sexual reproduction, this is opposite of the asexual reproduction. As in this, we include that only single parent is involved. Here, two parent will be included, two parents. And that will be of opposite sex. That will be of opposite sex. That is, one will be the female and the other will be the male. And here we said that also fertilization of gametes doesn't occur. But it will be overturned in the sexual mode of reproduction. That in the Sir, voice is not coming. Yes. Voice is not going. Now, am I audible? Yes, sir. Sail, is my voice audible to you? Yes, sir. So, if we talk about the sexual mode of reproduction, it is basically in this process, two parents are involved and that will be of opposite sex. And that will be of opposite sex. And the fusion of gamete will occur. The fusion of gamete will occur. That is fertilization. Fertilization is basically the process in which male and female gamete fuse together. And that fused gamete, again, that fused gamete forms jagot. And that jagot structure is the structure that determines the continuity of any species in the sexual mode of reproduction. So, if we will be asked, the question that is frequently being asked during the CBSC exams, that is the types of reproduction. 
and again the sexual reproduction how can we determine and how it is different from asexual mode of reproduction so the difference first was that in asexual mode of reproduction only single parent is involved and in sexual mode of reproduction two parents are involved and that will be of opposite sex one will be male and the other will be female and the another was that fertilization of gamete doesn't occur but in the sexual mode of reproduction the sexual mode of reproduction fertilization will occur that is fusion of gamete ovum and sperm will occur and after the fusion of gamete ovum and sperm the structure that is formed that is zygote and this zygote structure determines the continuity of species in sexual mode of reproduction so our question will be that what is the structure that determines the sexual mode a continuity of species in the sexual mode of reproduction so our answer will be the zygote our answer will be the zygote zygote is that structure which determines the continuity of species in the living world so sexual mode of reproduction we basically talk that two parents are involved and fertilization will also occur fertilization of gametes gametes that is what ovum and sperm ovum and sperm also also occur so this is that uh, asexual mode of reproduction and sexual mode of reproduction now am i audible to you sail am i audible yes sir yes sir sorry i think the voice is not reaching to him due to the network issue now we talked that two types of reproduction that is asexual and the sexual now the types of asexual reproduction types of asexual reproduction types of asexual reproduction can you answer the question that what are the types of asexual reproduction what are the basically methods that is used under the asexual mode of reproduction that organisms reproduces uh, or the organism takes or uses so before going further in this asexual mode of reproduction one question will be with you that what is the main difference between the sexual and asexual mode of reproduction what is the main difference that we talked before that clone body will be formed so exact what is the main difference between the asexual and sexual mode of reproduction so the first is that here variation will be much variation the word variation what does the word variation means in the sexual mode of reproduction two parents will be involved and that will be of opposite sex so fusion of gametes will occur that is fertilization so if the fertilization occurs the variation of any living organism will be high and in the asexual mode of reproduction there is no fertilization of gametes occur and only single parent are involved so the variation is negligible in the asexual mode of reproduction that is the parent and the progeny will be the similar or exact copy so if the body in asexual mode of reproduction is diseased the progeny will be also diseased 
so the progeny will be also diseased welcome saurabh kumar welcome to uh, this live session am i audible to you guys saurabh and sail yes sir yes sir is my voice reaching to you yes sir sorry is my voice re reaching to you saurabh yes sir yes sir from which city uh, do you belong are you watching my videos are you watching my videos that is uploaded in this schoolquiz.com sorry i think uh, he is not audible to me so now if we talk about the term variation what is variation means variation is that in that process in which the organism or we can say the progeny is different differs from the parental body the progeny differs from the parental body and that changes is called the variation here the variation can be also written as changes changes that occurring in a body is totally said to be the variation occurring in the body or the organism so the variation is the main thing that is that differs the asexual and sexual mode of reproduction and if the variation occurs then the life span of any organism or any species will be longer what i said that if variation will occur then the life span of any species in this world will be longer and if the variation doesn't take place then life span will be short as we can talk about the amoeba in amoeba the life span is too short or we can say it is of few minutes or hours we can say so in if the variation occurs then the life span will be higher am i audible sahil yes Sora, sir are you getting my voice if you have any questions you can ask regarding this that uh, uh, that variation or changes if you would have not understand you could ask this is totally the live session going on you can question so let us move further if we talk about the types of asexual mode of reproduction types of asexual mode of reproduction it is basically of six types six types or we can say six methods six methods or six types so the first is budding or we can write here uh, first is fission first is fission what is fission what is fission fission is basically the method that is used by the unicellular organisms that is basically used by the unicellular organisms is is this clear to you is this clear to you yes sir sahil and saurabh is this topic clear to you whatever we studied that uh, types of uh, reproduction that is asexual and sexual and the clone body and the variation i think my voice is not reaching out to him so now the first question here the types of asexual mode of reproduction here is six types the first is fission and fission is basically of two types fission is basically of two types and that is the binary fission 
binary fission and the other is multiple fission binary fission and the other is multiple fission what is basically the term binary fission refers to and multiple fission can anyone answer this Science. sir binary means single and multiple the term binary fusion and multiple fusion how does it differ from each other sir in binary fusion the organism divide into uh, one new organism that but in multiple no, sir anyone you could answer that uh, what does the term binary fusion and multiple fusion says how does it is different from each other both are the fusion both are the process that is fusion but how it differs sir in binary fusion only uh, anyone, one unit anyone can answer that uh, how does it differ from each other binary fusion and the multiple fusion so let us see as example regarding the binary fusion here amoeba amoeba lismania lismania paramecium these all are the unicellular organism that is amoeba lismania paramecium this all uses the method binary fusion for their reproduction in the asexual mode of reproduction they uses the term binary fusion or method binary fusion for their reproductive cycle but in the multiple fusion the plasmodium plasmodium the organism that is plasmodium that it uses the process what? multiple fusion what does binary and multiple refer so let us see that assume this is a single celled organism this is a single celled organism and this is the nucleus this is the nucleus single cell organism further divides into two divides into two or we can go by the uh, process way that it first of all stretches first of all it stretches and its nucleus also stretches this is basically the nucleus and then it further divides into two parts the nucleus divides into two parts and after the division of nucleus it is divided into two cell body that is this is one amoeba and this is the other amoeba and by this way if the body divides that fusion method is called the binary fusion it will further divide Uh, after the some time period but in the multiple fusion once the body is divided into two parts then it automatically or we can say it eventually shifts into the four it eventually shifts into the four into the eight into the 16 and this process will continue going and rapidly and that process will be termed as the multiple fusion once the body divided in the binary fusion it stops dividing for some time period but in the multiple fusion once it divided into two it eventually shifts into four and then into eight this is the protozoa can anyone tell about the plasmodium what is its speciality where do we study the plasmodium sir plasmodium causes malaria plasmodium causes in our body anyone as i can see here that sahil and saurav is present can you answer the thing that is relatable with the plasmodium sir am i audible to you what does it causes in our body that plasmodium that is basically the protozoa that is basically a protozoan that is plasmodium what does it cause in our body
मलेरिया राइट सौरभ इट काउजेस मलेरिया दिस काउजेस मलेरिया एंड ऑल्सो फॉर दैट केस फॉर दैट केस प्लास्मोडियम इज काउजेस मलेरिया फॉर दैट केस इट इज सेट टू बी द मलेरियल पैरासाइट इट इज सेट टू बी द मलेरियल पैरासाइट एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू सौरभ एंड साहिल एम आई ऑडिबल टू यू यस सर सॉरी योर वॉइस इज नॉट रीचिंग कनेक्शन एम आई ऑडिबल नाउ यस सर यस आई थिंक दट ब्लूटूथ प्रॉब्लम वॉज काउजिंग देयर so what we studied that the term binary fission and the term multiple fission now you can answer uh, you can answer that what is the uh, malarial parasite uh, uh, that uh, plasmodium does uh, we can say that uh, how does it come into our body plasmodium that is malarial parasite anyone you can answer by anopheles mosquito yes by the anopheles mosquito it is being brought into our body by the anopheles mosquito that is basically the female mosquito that act as the transmitting agent of malaria that act as the transmitting agent of malaria now we studied in the binary section that here lismania also takes place what is the what is the disease caused by the lismania kalajar kalajar right the disease that is caused by lismania is the kalajar kalajar and it is also basically a protozoa as we studied that plasmodium is a protozoa so lismania is also a protozoan that causes kalajar in our body so that is all about the fission have you any doubts regarding this if you have any doubts you can ask sahil and saurabh if you have any doubts regarding this you can ask no doubts so now the second type under the asexual mode of reproduction is the budding is the budding what is basically budding what does budding mean as we talked that binary and multiple the division of cell takes place same in the budding also as an example let assume this is a body or a cell now this starts forming a structure that is bud and when it eventually forms a structure that is similar to the man body similar to the man body that bird is proceeds that bird proceeds and con continues to form the similar similarity as the parental body then it eventually cuts from the parental body and forms a new structure and that process is referred as the budding by making the bud it divides eventually and that process is referred as the budding and it is basically takes place in the hydra and yeast hydra and yeast these are the two examples regarding this are uh, the cbsc the cbsc ask this examples regarding the uh, types of asexual mode of reproduction the examples are much necessary that is being asked in the 
types of asexual mode of reproduction first was the binary in that process we studied the amoeba paramecium and the lismania that we will be keeping in mind that amoeba paramecium and lismania are three organisms that uses the binary fission method for their reproduction and the other was multiple fission in that process plasmodium was taking place and now the second came that is budding and in this process hydra and yeast takes place hydra and yeast both of them uses the reproduction by budding method so this is all about the budding if you have any doubts you can ask regarding this first of all we talked that a body assume that this is the hydral body it starts forming a bud structure and then when the bud structure fully develops as the parental hydral body it eventually shifts into the division cycle and divides into two parts that is buds divide into a uh, bud is uh, totally cut out from the parental body and this two continues to form a new hydral body and that process is referred as the budding have you any doubts regarding this so no doubts now the next type that is under the asexual mode of reproduction is the third that is spore formation spore formation what is the term spore formation refers to can you answer what is the term spore formation refers to sahil or saurabh anyone you could answer am i audible to you guys yes sir can you answer the uh, term spore formation what does it mean are you watching my videos on schoolquiz.com from which city do you belong sorry so if we talk about the spore formation this is basically the organism that forms spores and takes its division and that spore structure could be uh, the organism's new species or we can say the spore is going to form a new organism and that process is referred as the spore formation in this process as we talked in the budding method that bud is first of all the bud is formed and that bud is totally formed as the parental body and it separates from the parental body and grows into a new structure and that structure we refer as the uh, uh, new organism and that process we refer as body that in spore formation here the spore will form and that spore will eventually form a new structure or new organism and that process is referred as the spore formation as in this process we can say that here fungus fungus all the fungus uses the method spore formation for their reproduction in fungus we can include the example rhizopus 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 is basically called bread mold bread mold so the question will be asked that what is the other name of rhizopus or we can be asked that what is the other name of bread mold so our answer will be the rhizopus and if we will be asked that what is the other name of rhizopus then our answer will be the bread mold so next fungus that is penicillium penicillium what is the specialty about the penicillium can you answer what is the specialty about the penicillium am i audible so 
let us know that this penicillium is basically a fungus fungus and this penicillium is being discovered by the alexander fleming is discovered by the alexander fleming a biological scientist that named alexander fleming and we can write here alexander fleming fleming by the fungus penicillium it uh, the alexander fleming extracted a antibiotic named penicillin named penicillin this antibiotic penicillin is the antibiotic antibiotic and that antibiotic is it is the first antibiotic its specialty is in the world the first antibiotic that is being discovered was the penicillin and that was extracted from the fungus penicillium from the fungus penicillium it is being extracted and made by alexander fleming and that is the specialty that is being studied under the penicillium fungus so our answer uh, our question will be of two types first who discovered the first antibiotic of the world our answer will be alexander fleming and the other question what is the first antibiotic named so our answer will be the penicillin penicillin was the first antibiotic that is being discovered in the world by alexander fleming by the fungus or we can say extracted by the fungus penicillium now the other example under the spore formation is l bugo spore formation is l bugo first was rhizophus the next penicillium and the next is l bugo and the other is mucor and the other is mucor these are the example that is generally mentioned in the ncert book so with this the question can be arise so we can keep this in mind the specialty that we had talked that first was the penicillium that uh, penicillin antibiotic first antibiotic was discovered by alexander fleming the next was the rhizophus that is also called the bread mold and the next examples were the albugo and mucor that is all about the spore formation if you have any doubts regarding this now you can ask have you any doubts is it clear to you sahil saurav is it clear to you the is yes sir question? yes now the fourth is fragmentation fourth is fragmentation what is basically the term fragmentation refers to what is fragmentation fragmentation in simple words we can say that uh, it uh, fragments of anything fragments of anything that process is called fragmentation assume that this is a body and this is cut into three parts and if each of the three parts each of the three parts will formed as the one part that we have cut this is the main body main body and if the each part that is being cut by the main body is developed into the main body each part develops into the main body as the main body then that process is referred as the fragmentation what we said that if the body is cut into three pieces and each piece develops into that main body which we have cut fully develop into the main body that which we have cut and that process is referred as the fragmentation and in this process the organism that uses this process is especially the spirogyra and the sea anemone spirogyra and the c 
sea anemone these are the two example that we should keep in mind that regarding the fragmentation we will be asked that what which of the following organisms uses the method fragmentation for its reproduction cycle so our answer will be the spirogera and the other will be the sea anemone have you any doubts regarding this what we said that in the fragmentation method the body will eventually cut into two or three parts and each part will develop into a new or we can say into a real body that is being cut and that process is referred as the fragmentation so this is all about the fragmentation sir yes sir can this planaria can come uh in the fragmentation planaria doesn't uh, take place because it uses the process regeneration regeneration is similar to the fragmentation but the process that is named uh, for planaria is regeneration so we cannot uh, write in the fragmentation topic if we will be asked with the question with the planaria then our answer will be the regeneration that we will be talking in this that is fifth method that is regeneration regeneration what is regeneration and what is uh, fragmentation these both are different from each other because in the fragmentation the two organism that took place that was spirogera and the other was sea anemone and in regeneration the example will be the planaria and also here hydra will be also included so if we will be asked that regarding the regeneration then here planaria will come planaria and the other will be the hydra hydra so our question will be coming that we concluded that the hydra uses the term body so why can we write in, uh, in the regeneration is hydra uses the regeneration method or body so here in the hydral we write that it uses the term of false regeneration false regeneration because the hydra basically uses the budding method and budding method is somehow similar to the regeneration method in this process also the organism the organism assume this is a body it in this process also the organism cuts into two to three parts and each parts develops into a real body and that process is also called regeneration but it is different from fragmentation similar to fragmentation but the organism that uses will be different from them so in the regeneration method the planaria and hydra will come but the hydra will be using the false regeneration because the hydra is using the budding method and if we will be asked that true regeneration is shown by which of the following organism then our answer will be only one that is planaria that is planaria planaria uses the regeneration and that is true regeneration method for its reproductive cycle so in uh, that we talked that fusion and fragmentation they both are similar from each other in fusion also the body divides into two and in fragmentation also the body divides into two or three we can say so in this they are different from each other by in fusion only unicellular organism takes place but in fragmentation multicellular takes place multicellular takes place in unicellular takes place in fusion and fragmentation multicellular organism takes place so fusion and fragmentation is different from each other by this type of organism that is unicellular and multicellular what is unicellular unicellular is that uh, that uh, process uh, or we can say that term that is used for a single celled organism and multicellular the organism that is formed by more than two or more than two cells 
that is multicellular organism so what we talked that in fission only unicellular organism takes place and in fragmentation multicellular organism takes place this is the main difference between the fission and fragmentation have you any doubts regarding this is it clear to you that is all the processes that is uh, till now we have talked the five processes first was the fission other was the budding and then spore formation then fragmentation and then regeneration regarding fragmentation two examples was first was the spirogyra and the other was the sea anemone and regarding the regeneration here planaria and hydra are included but hydra shows the budding method so we says that it shows also it also shows the false regeneration because the regeneration method is somehow similar to the budding method that's why and the other was the planaria that shows the true means of regeneration if we will be asked that the organism that shows the regeneration method fully that is planaria that is planaria is it clear is it clear am i audible sir what yes, is sir. the difference between regeneration and fragmentation ha ah, difference between regeneration and fragmentation that is in fragmentation we talked that only multicellular organism can take place in the fission we talked that unicellular organism take place and in fragmentation only multicellular organism takes place and in the regeneration unicellular and multicellular both can take place this is the difference between them in this hydra is the uni and the planaria is the multi so in this method regeneration unicellular and multicellular both are included for their reproductive cycle so the regeneration and fragmentation are different from each other but by the means of uh, division they both are similar we cannot determine them by uh, that uh, in this method it uh, it follows another rule or in that method that follows another rule they both follows the same rule for their division but the division of only multicellular takes place in the fragmentation method and in regeneration both unicellular and multicellular both can take place this is the main difference is it clear yes sir yes so we will be moving further in the sixth process or sixth method that is taking place under the asexual mode of reproduction the sixth method that takes place is for plants that is named as vegetative vegetative propagation vegetative propagation this is basically for plants this vegetative propagation is basically for plants and in this process the vegetative propagule structure takes place vegetative propagule vegetative propagule the structure that is taking place under the process vegetative propagation propagation uh, by the plants that structure is said to be the vegetative propagule as an example we can take potato as an example we can take potato we would be saying that in potato uh, when we uh, so the potato it generally bears a, a white color is i like structure we can see that this type of structure is formed in the potato and this is the structure that is called the vegetative propagule and that is named as the i so for potato the structure vegetative propagule is named as i i is that structure which is taking place for the generation of potato is it clear for potato i is the vegetative propagule structure that is basically taking place no now the other is for ginger 
वी वुड बी नोइंग जिंजर दैट इज बेसिकली इन हिंदी आदि आदि दैट इज जिंजर एंड जिंजर यूजेज द राइजोम स्ट्रक्चर राइजोम एज द पोटेटो यूजेज द आई स्ट्रक्चर सेम वे द जिंजर यूजेज द राइजोम स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस बोथ आर कॉल्ड द वेजिटेटिव प्रोपाग्यूम दिस बोथ आर कॉल्ड द वेजिटेटिव प्रोपाग्यूम फॉर पोटेटो आई एंड फॉर जिंजर राइजोम इज इट क्लियर नाउ द थर्ड इज मनी प्लांट मनी प्लांट फॉर मनी प्लांट स्टेम स्टेम इज द वेजिटेटिव प्रोपाग्यूल स्ट्रक्चर वेजिटेटिव प्रोपाग्यूल इज बेसिकली द जेनरेटिव पार्ट the generative part is only called the vegetative propagule structure and that in money plant stem is the vegetative propagule structure that starts generating for the money plant for the money plant another example under this is bryophyllum bryophyllum and begonia begonia these all are the examples that is included in the ncert book that what i am saying that uh, bryophyllum and begonia this uses leaf buds leaf buds the vegetative propagule structure that is being used by the plant begonia and bryophyllum is leaf buds so the question will be what is the vegetative propagule structure used by potato begonia or bryophyllum or money plant so these all are the examples and these all are the answers that is for potato i ginger rhizome money plant stem and the other was bryophyllum and begonia that uses the leaf buds have you any doubts regarding this vegetative propagule and uh, this vegetative propagule if you have doubts you can ask from here no sir Sahil, no so this is all about the vegetative propagation vegetative propagation is basically used by the plants and here the special structure that takes place and that structure is called the vegetative propagule as for potato we said that i structure taking place for ginger rhizome or money plant there was stem for begonia there was leaf buds for bryophyllum there was leaf buds so i hope you would be knowing about the schoolquiz.com this is the online a uh, site uh, that is uh, basically providing free live sessions uh, for the students nowadays for a uh, 10th basically the 10th class for term 2 students uh, term 2 that is exam that is uh, conducted uh, going to conduct by uh, the cbsc uh, for that live session is going on uh, for a daily basis uh, in alternate way as for maths and for physics chemistry and for the biology and today is the biology live session and the other live session for biology will be on sunday so please do join on sunday also so that for more you can understand there as in uh, this session we talked that uh, reproduction and types of reproduction and then we talked that asexual and uh, its types and we talked in this that uh, what is the variation what is the clone body so regarding this you could uh, go on the site that is schoolquiz.com all the videos that is being uploaded on the youtube you can watch out there and clear clear your doubts and if you have doubts if you get doubts you could ask in this live session which we uh, which we are conducting right now as for biology for physics for maths and for chemistry you can ask in any separate uh, as if you get uh, in the chemistry doubts you can ask from uh, the live session in the chemistry time 
and for biology if you get doubt you can ask in the session of biology and if you get doubts regarding the maths you can ask in the maths live session so please go through the uh, videos that we upload generally uh, in the schoolquiz.com regarding their uh, for uh, term 2 exam basically we are uploading the videos 